What's up YouTube? Clueless Bushcraft here. Uh, today I'm just out in the woods while it's snowing and it just looks amazing in here. Like... There's at least two feet of snow under me. Like, it goes up to my shins, almost up to my knee. So today, in the woods here, I wanna kinda show you guys my two new grills that I got. And, uh, I just need to find a good spot to kind of camp down and, uh, and get some firewood and get a fire going. And I hope Raven is going to be okay. She's running around a lot, so like I don't think she'll be cold. And it's not that cold out. I think it's like... I don't know, 10 degrees out, but uh, it's snowing, so it's not that cold. It's not that bad. All right, let's go find a good spot. I'm really lost in here. Like, I normally know this, these woods pretty well, but because everything is just white, and it just seems endless. Like my base camp, my original base camp, was around in here somewhere. I just can't figure it out where I am. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So I actually ended up finding my base camp. It's right here. Because <laughs> I remember these two trees over here in this general area. Um, so I'm gonna clear this area. Like, there's a ton of snow. Like, seriously, it comes up to here. Raven is having a hard time kind of trekking through all this snow. It's so deep. See, this is one of my uh, beams that uh, is for the shelter. I might be able to use it. Well, it's all frozen and there's a bunch of moisture in it probably. Raven, come here. Raven must hear or see something. She's looking for it. It's probably a bunny or a squirrel. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's 
probably another person walking around in here. I don't know. But I haven't seen any like fresh footprints in this area. In case I needed it. No. Likely not gonna need it, but it's nice to have. Knowing that would happen. <laughs> ah. There you go. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> So I uh, brought this along, it's my uh, sleeping bag, I compressed it down so it's easier to carry around. I don't think Raven really needs this, but I, I just want to make sure that she doesn't get too cold or anything. But she's just kind of exploring and running around. so. I think she'll be all right, I think, as long as I keep an eye on her. Alright, right. so I'm going to go gather some wood and uh, get a fire started, like in this corner or something. Oh, but actually first I wanna show you guys this then. Um, so this one was the one that I used in my last video for my uh, tomahawk steak. I believe this was called like the Z Z Zambumi or something like that. Um, it flexes, but it's strong enough to uh, hold something heavy. After getting this right here, I uh, kind of feel like this isn't as uh, sturdy. So this one I got for around $16, I think. Otherwise, this is like on a whole nother level. Like this was 20 bucks. It's smaller as you guys can see, see? But the cool thing about this is it comes with this really nice waxed canvas um, like bag. And Like, this thing is, like, heavy-duty. Like, it barely flexes, but it's super strong. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can tell between the quality, if it focuses. I'm not sure. But this is, like, super heavy-duty. I, I really like it. So I'm going to try this out today. I might still use this today as well. So let's get a fire started. Raven keeps munching on this tree. <laughs> Jeez. Stop it, Raven. Stop it. No.
All right, so uh, Raven seems to be shivering a little bit. Um, she seems okay though. I'm gonna keep her in the sleeping bag for a little bit and uh, hopefully she warms up. And uh, I'm gonna get the fire going and hopefully she'll warm up with the fire. All right, so stay here Raven. So right now I'm just processing all the wood. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna do my best to get this going fast. So I'm doing it like this, uh, log cabin style, like this, so that it uh, has some airflow. Stay. Yeah, this is good. It's actually warm uh, inside the, the sleeping bag. So as long as Raven stays in here, she'll be good. I'm gonna get the fire started right here and probably move her a little further away. But uh, this is good. Raven can stay and I can continue the video. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Raven. Namdi, Namdi, Namdi. The edge is too rounded now, so I'm having a. Okay. Oh, there you go. I was having trouble striking it because it's too rounded. I'm not getting a lot of sparks, but that works. I only need one spark. I think Raven's plenty warm now. And the sun is out and it stopped snowing for a little bit. Yeah, it's not snowing anymore, really. I'm glad I brought this then. Raven was able to warm up. Go, Raven. Go, run, run. So I'm going to gather some more wood and uh, I, because I want to make sure that this fire is like nice and hot um, because I want a nice bed of coals to cook on because I brought some spiders along. Yeah, you guys see what it is in a second. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had to lower the quality of the uh, camera because well, I'm using my uh, phone today to uh, film and it's kind of running low on battery and I'm charging it right now but 
Uh, I don't know how uh, long it's going to last. Ooh, this is really warm. Is it getting even? Here. All right, so I've got soft shell crabs here. My colds are kind of dying off now. I'm gonna to try to cook them as fast as I can. All right. So I have tapioca starch with me. Normally I would fry this, but today I'm gonna to try this. Got a second one here. I'm not gonna put tapioca starch on it, just to see a difference. This bag right here is some squid. Oh yeah, that looks good. It smells really fishy right now <laughs> with all of this stuff, but it's good. Ooh, yeah, this is looking good. Oh, that's burnt. Dang it. Getting stuck. There you go. I don't have much uh, battery life left on my phone and my charger, so I'm going to have to wrap things up pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, the grills work pretty good. I like them. And here's the soft shell crab. Ooh. Oh, so good. Hmm. So that one was the one that I didn't put um, tapioca starch. This one, I put tapioca starch on it. Normally, we would fry this in oil, but I've never done this before uh, over a fire. It worked out pretty good. Mmm, not bad. Mm. Can you tell why it's called a spider also? <laughs> yeah. Mmm, mm, that's good. I like the, um, the one without the tapioca starch more. Because this isn't fried, you can still taste the tapioca and feel it. If it was fried, then it'd be a lot better. But because it's grilled, I think without the tapioca starch would be better. Mm -hmm. And here's the squid. Oh, yeah. What? what? Mm, no ribbon. Yeah, I burnt a lot of the pieces. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if I uh, still have some battery life left, I'll just uh, 
walk around through the woods here and uh, film some more. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button uh, and hit that like button also. Comment if you have any questions. So let me know. All right, take care. All right, so I actually have more battery life on my phone than I thought. But uh, yeah, I've packed up and I'm ready to head on home now. Come here. There's my car, straight ahead. Raven. Okay. Gonna head on home now.